I'm intrigued by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we talked about Pittsburgh, kind of, listen, they were in the market, remember, for IU earlier in the season. They clearly thought they needed help in the wide receiver room. And the reason that makes some sense to me, not only is that we know that they were in the market, is that he is a different kind of wide receiver than George Pickens. Yeah, right? George say, Pickens is a taller outside guy. He's going to need the logo to show up. went to Russell Wilson for the idea of maybe kind of improving the passing cool. game and my oh, why how that would. So as of now, I see the Steelers as the same so thing. Chargers next at 4-1. Tampa Bay after that at 6 which is interesting. Obviously, oh, yeah. you can sure. imagine if yeah. Mike you, all of a sudden, blew the fat on a guy like McMillan, and then all of a sudden, Cooper Cup is there in the slot. That changes it. Then we see the Lions, the Falcons, the Commanders, which I think are interesting, at 18-1 to as a contender that can pair with Terry McLaurin. Um, then Bills, Saints, Chiefs, Ravens, Cowboys, who we've talked about in the market before, 33 to 1, along with the San Francisco 49ers, who have had injuries at the wide receiver position. You throw Cooper Cup, although that is in division. So that's kind of where it um, falls, at least right now. But I just think, like, this is trading season. And so when you go ahead and try to get a Cedric Tillman or a Jawan Jennings or a McMillan, right, like, not so fast because the kind of the uh, the, the tide is turning in certain places, right? And so with this move, listen, people a couple of weeks ago were all about Juju, right? And now this is hampered, you know, because of the arrival of DeAndre Hopkins. We talked about him. Oh, all right, let's get it, let's get it, I'm worried, let's get it. Right. So, right. so, you know, there's a little bit of shaking going on, so we are in the box. Say, hey, no, And that's kind of my overall point here, Chris, like, we're in flux, so if you're making trades, if you're spending money on fab and stuff like that, like the idea of the usage rates are uh, may not be what they see today's price. It's not tomorrow's price. Yeah, it's a good call. I love trade season. Uh, I love these guys changing jerseys no matter what the sport is. I'm all over it. We're going to have to have a, a trade, a couple trade segments moving forward on this show, like how to trade and also taking a look at the playoff, fantasy football playoff schedule. It's five so high, so I keep her locked. We're definitely going to do that. Try to get that done maybe this Friday and take a look at some of those matchups. Uh,